Hello everybody, Lurgs here, welcome to my channel and today it's how to fix a leak on a plastic poly plum elbow. I'll show you how I fixed the leak and at the end I'll show you how the elbow joint works. This room has been newly plastered and all decorated. Came in one day and there's a big damp patch in the corner and I know that behind this stud work there is a plastic pipework joint and that is going to be accessible from the loft. Now before I climb into the loft and try and fix this I'm just going to chill out for a sec and have a nice cup of tea. If you're going to be following any of my how-to videos make sure you have a lovely brew. What you need to do first is turn off your mains cold water. This could be out in the street. If it is then go and find it. Turn it into the off position. That turns off your mains cold water. Don't do this if you live in a block of flats because you'll isolate everybody's water. If you can't find it in the street and you've got it indoors, locate your stopcock and turn that clockwise to turn it all the way off. Talking of stopcocks, there's a link above now about what to do if your stopcock is dripping. Now let's climb into the loft and locate the pipe that is dripping, which is here. You can see here it is dripping and that is what's caused the damp patch in the corner of the room. Now looking at this it looks like the pipe has not been pushed in properly. So what I'm going to do first is I'm just going to gently unscrew this anti-clockwise one or two turns and then going to push the pipe all the way home into the elbow and then tighten it back up again. So I'm now going to push the pipe inwards and it may spray a bit of water out even though the mains cold water feed is off because you've still got a bit of pressure in the pipe work. Now with your hands just turn this clockwise just to tighten it up some more. Now I'm just going to dry all the area completely just with a cloth. Then it's a good idea to take some kitchen towel and just wrap it around this pipe work near where it was leaking and then we'll go and turn the mains cold water feed back on and then we'll leave that for a few hours and we'll come back and check to make sure it's not leaking still. So as earlier go out to the main stopcock in the street and turn that on. If it's on your internal stopcock then turn this open fully but a top tip don't leave it open fully. Once it's open fully then turn it back slightly about 90 degrees. That just helps the stopcock from seizing up because that is a nightmare if that happens. And it is now about an hour and a half later I'm just going to climb back into the loft and check that pipework elbow. And we do this by just removing the kitchen paper towels and just making sure they're nice and dry. So fingers crossed, fantastic. Bone dry, that is a great result. Ooh. What I can do now is put the yes. pipe insulation back on yes. and then pack the loft insulation back around the pipework here. Talking of loft insulation, there's a link above now about how to install DL plastic loft insulation like you can see here. That's really good stuff because you don't need gloves to handle it and you don't need a mask. What I'll do now is just show you how the polyplum elbow joint works. This is a polyplum elbow here. And these are the parts that you've got inside it. These will already be in the joint. And as this video is about plumbing, there's a link above now about how to fix a leaking pipe under your sink. And then finally the rubber seal. Now these work with plastic pipework or copper pipework. But generally you're going to be using plastic pipework. So what you do is just push it in nice and parallel. Push it as deep as you can get it and then just tighten it up and you only need to do these hand tight as tight as you can get it. Obviously to remove it you unscrew it anti-clockwise and then you can just pull the pipe out. This will pull out the innards as well and if you need to reseat this for any reason 
then you will need to slide these components off to the right hand side. But you've got this grab ring at the end. You can reuse that, but I would recommend that you remove this and replace it with a new one. I hope that's helped somebody out there. Whilst I'm climbing out of the loft on the top left hand corner is a link to the Dial plastic loft insulation. Really good stuff. And on the top right hand corner is a link on how to fix your dripping stopcock. And you can, of course, subscribe to my channel by pressing the button in the bottom right hand corner. Cheers.